Myanmar's former leader Aung San Suu Kyi has been pardoned in five of five criminal charges but still faces many others and will reportedly remain in detention. The military ousted Suu Kyi's elected government in a coup in February 21. She's been in detention ever since and was sentenced to 33 years in prison. The pardons came as part of a mass prisoner amnesty marking a Buddhist holiday. Joined now from Bangkok by Tintin Nyo. She's Managing Director of Burma News International. That's a network of independent ethnic and local Burmese media. Thanks for being with us. Tintin, a partial pardon for Aung San Suu Kyi. What's your assessment of this move by the military junta? Yes, uh, thank you so much. In fact, the partial pardon is not really worth mentioning here because like uh, she still have to serve so many years of the prison term but this is just to distract the people of Burma and also the international community uh, uh, by saying that uh, they are pardoning some of the convictions and also prison years of Dong San Suu Kyi and also the ousted uh, president Uwe Mead. So that like uh, it is just giving some kind of hopeful, uh, uh, some kind of like a fake hopeful for the people of Burma. So and also like uh, it's also like uh, in a way of distracting that they have extended another six months uh, emergency, a state of emergency. So I, <clears throat> for us, I, it's like um, this is not yeah, really going to make any changes for the people because the people are already very determined mm. that they will fight and, that, and mm. that they will get rid of all the militarization and all the dictatorship in the country. So like uh, every one of us are standing at ten now with a good resilience. Yeah. Let me ask you uh, about that state of emergency. It's been extended by a further yes. six months. Uh, given that, is there any sign of the elections that were promised? Actually, like uh, this is in a way of delaying the elections because like uh, they cannot really uh, organize the election in the near future because it, it is like, um, you know, they can, the, the, the third of the country townships are not under the, the military hunter. So that means that they are not going to, uh, it, you know, the election is not going to happen any sooner. That's why they extend another six months for the emergency. Yes. Tintin, thank you very much for talking with us. That was Tintin Yo in Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you.